It's a song they've sung before. RTD writers chanting they need a way to get from here to there. And despite these protests and nearly two hours of public comment, within the last hour, RTD votes to raise fares. 7 News reporter Molly Hendrickson is live at RTD headquarters tonight. Molly, so many people against that increase showed up. You couldn't even get into tonight's meeting. Yeah, we actually watched the meeting from an overflow room. It was that packed tonight was really the last chance that people had to voice their opinion before that vote. And within the last hour, 11 board members voted to approve those fare increases. Just one board member voted against it. So this is what it means. Starting next year, a one way bus or rail service fare will be 260 up from 225. A monthly local pass will increase from 79 to 99 bucks. The fare study will look at the Eco Pass, College Pass, and nonprofit reduce fares programs next. Now, um, RTD maintains it hasn't raised rates since 2011 and the hikes are necessary to keep up with inflation. Nearly every speaker asking RTD tonight not to raise those rates, saying it will unfairly hurt the poor, disabled and working families. You need the community as much as we need you, and it is shameful to see that that has been forgotten. If you pass this, you're going to lose the writers of RTD. There's people out in our city fighting to end homelessness, and you're going to go directly against them? There's nothing that I would like to do that would cause us to have to cut service. Now tonight, board members express this is just the beginning. They plan to look at how to help the poor and disabled with maybe some income-based uh, fare rates. But tonight, people here not happy. They're now threatening to not vote and for those remaining board members who voted yes. We are live in Denver. Molly Hendrickson, 7 News.